What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here, Delarose.com. That's D E L A R R O Z.com. If you like my taste in comics, you can head to the link in my description below, sign up for my newsletter, and get a free graphic novel by me, which is awesome. So uh, I've been in a mood lately where I really have not been reading any superhero books, <laughs> any mainstream books, really. I've been getting a lot of books from a company called Magnetic Press, which we're not featuring right now, um, and uh, uh, other European comics, uh, which, uh, you know, this kind of is, from Humanoids. Humanoids does a lot of Euro comics also. So just stuff I've been super interested in, uh, you know, they're usually complete stories, really nice art, really cool artistic direction, and that's what it's really about beyond anything else. This one I picked up on a large, literally just because uh, of the pretty girl on the cover. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I thought, oh, that's a nice aesthetic, and I like that. It, it actually was shrink-wrapped, so I didn't know what was in it, and I found out why it was shrink-wrapped <laughs> a little later. So we're going to have to be a little careful about what we turn to in this book, uh, if you haven't figured out what that means. But uh, it's an interesting story, uh, and this is a book that clearly was about the artist really highlighting uh, his ability to draw... Uh, beautiful uh, women uh, in poses and, and cheesecake sort of scenarios. It starts out with like a girl showing up at a house, uh, like, she, you know, a big manor going to be a nanny, very Mary Poppins or, or various other sort of gothic romance kind of uh, setups right here. And you end up seeing that there's some steampunk gadgets and things like that. There's a cast of characters kind of revolved around here, and eventually you get into this mystery. Uh, and I'm only going to turn the first few pages through this uh, because uh, they, you know, start stripping off her clothes in the middle of this uh, a couple times. Uh, but uh, beautiful art. It's just really unbelievable. Um, the story's a little on the light side. Uh, it ends up like she's, you know, goes to sleep and has a dream, and the dream ends up in this fantasy world. And uh, this the young boy who she's sort of nannying, so he's trying to get her to kiss uh, him in those dreams. And uh, it's, it's kind of bizarre. Uh, but uh, very nice art all the way around uh, kind of just makes up for it. So uh, you see this and yeah, you, I mean, you see that you see that you see the pose. <laughs> Hello there. Hi, mommy. Mommy Milky. And uh, and that's that's in essence what the book is about. Like he's looking for a mommy Milky and uh, and, and that was it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, I mean, she, she ends up in, in several different fantasy scenarios where, um, you know, she's, she's, uh, uh, kidnapped by pirates or kidnapped by a sultan and, you know, they're always getting her in interesting, precarious states of undress, uh, in those, in those, uh, scenes. And eventually, uh, she kind of figures out that these are designed by him and it's kind of his subconscious because he likes to read a lot of fantasy books and, uh, that's that. <laughs> like I said, not a ton to the story uh, involved in it, uh, but I mean, the art is just absolutely stunning all the way through. Uh, absolutely beautiful uh, to look at. Uh, so gotta enjoy it on that level. It's about 100 pages, I believe. Uh, is that right? 100 pages? Or is it 200 pages? Yeah, about 100 pages. So about uh, about the, the, the length of like two uh, albums uh, for those who are into the Euro comics and all that. And the book's called Muse. It's by Humanoids. It's by D.P. Filippi and Terry Dodson. And, uh, yeah, Terry Dodson apparently has been on some DC comics. And that's about all I know about it. So, blind purchase. Uh, I'd give it, you know, 7 out of 10, uh, honestly, because uh just wasn't enough real, real story there uh, to, to hook you. But the art was pretty. So, that's it. Hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know what you think. And we'll be back soon.